violent crimes as Lawton is spreading like wildfire. The Facebook group trying to do just that has hit 1,000 followers in three days. Stop the Hate in Lawton started up on Facebook just three hours after 26-year-old Irvin Manigault was shot and killed, gunned down Friday night. I got on Facebook and said, hey, we need to step up just as a status. You know, we need to do something. And that's when the group came alive. There was a bond between Page creator Brandon Ramirez and Manigault. They had played football together in high school. Ramirez says this isn't the first friend who's died by a bullet. Now he wants it to stop. So news reporter Laura Hagen continues our team coverage tonight. She met up with Ramirez and a few others who are trying to make that happen. Laura? That's right, Dave. Brandon Ramirez tells me Manigault is the fourth friend to be shot to death since he graduated high school. He says that's basically one friend per year, a very sobering fact. So he and his friends have big dreams. They say they want to bring light to this problem, to tell the community and all the kids in school that there is life beyond the streets. The message is clear. Stop the hate in Lawton. From bullying in the schools, uh, you know, people getting picked on because they're gay, uh, the color of their skin, I mean, all hate. Brandon Ramirez is a father to a young girl. He says he doesn't want his daughter to grow up in a world of violence. Ramirez and a few of his friends have ideas on how to accomplish this. First, get kids involved in activities like the YMCA's Youth Achievers Program. They're going to be able to learn leadership skills, life skills, how to fill out a resume, learn uh, information for bettering their education, or music. I know like 23 years ago in the uh, hip-hop community, Old school rappers like Heavy D, Big Daddy Kane, Queen Lucy, for they all came together and came. Uh, they had a song called Self Destruction about stop the violence. And that was the only time out of the whole 23 years and, and, and many years, 30 something years of hip hop, hip hop that it have ever happened. Then they're sharing their own street experiences. Getting out of high school, uh, started selling drugs, and I seen how much it tore my mom up but letting them know they can be successful in life. I feel like they look at me and they see my tattoos or my piercings and automatically type me as being one of those problem people. And it's not at all. I work. I'm about to be a college student in January. Ramirez says everyone in the community needs to get on board for the hate to stop. Stop the hate. Stop the violence. It's, it's killing our city. For real. Right before news time, Ramirez told me they will be holding their first open floor meeting that will be this Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Lawton High School cafeteria. He wants people to toss around their ideas so they can keep this movement going. It could also be a forum where people can share concerns, whether it's from a child or a parent. Back to you. Thanks, Laura. And to find out about Stop the Hate in Lawton, you can go to our website, kswo.com. We have a direct link to their Facebook page.